Hey everybody, I just wanted to say thank y'all for the support and the and the nice messages I've been getting from people. Uh, I'm out of friends watching WrestleMania right now. It's great. I'm enjoying it. You know, I've been a wrestling nerd for a long time. Uh, but I need to shave. But, um, you know, I just want to thank everybody for the support. It's been great. Uh, I'm just living my life, guys. Uh, Y'all will see what really happened on Lifetime. Uh, we were filming a lot. So uh, stay tuned for that. And I just want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, if you support me, follow me. I will post more stuff eventually. Uh, I'm just, just hanging in. I just want to say thank y'all to everybody. And, you know, God bless. You guys, it is official. Gypsy Rose Blanchard's estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, has spoken out. The Daily Mail put out this article, Gypsy Rose Blanchard's estranged husband, Ryan Anderson, reveals he was blindsided by their split and had no clue she still had strong feelings for her ex-boyfriend. Anderson, 37, clutched Pixie, the Shih Tzu pup he and Blanchard adopted together in January as he told DailyMail.com that he was for sure keeping her. Speaking exclusively to DailyMail.com, Ryan Anderson confirmed that he and mom unaliver Blanchard have separated over her continued relationship with her ex-fiance, Ken Urker. Now, this is a vastly different story than what Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been telling people the reason for her and Ryan's split was. And I posted about that in my last video, so if you missed it, definitely go check that out as well. Ryan said, I'm not doing well with it. For me, it just came out of the blue. I had no idea she still had such strong feelings for him. Now, this is kind of confusing because we know that Gypsy and Ryan got into an argument over Ken from the prison confessions where Gypsy tells Ryan about the dream she had where she left Ryan for Ken. Barely four months ago, Anderson posted about his perfect life on Instagram when he introduced Pixie to followers in a picture of her and Blanchard and wrote, my two favorite girls, my family is adorable, I'm so lucky. Now, Ryan has since deleted that photo as well as unfollowed Gypsy and her entire family. Instead, just a day ago on Thursday, pictures emerged of Blanchard hand in hand with Urker, who first started writing to her in 2018, having seen the HBO documentary of her childhood, Mommy Dead and Dearest. They broke up not long before she started her prison romance with Anderson in 2020. Apparently, without a care in the world, a beaming Blanchard and Urker were seen visiting a Dollar General store in South Louisiana and casually smoking a cigarette together. They made no effort to hide the matching husky dog tattoos they got just days earlier. Yes, and in fact, they also decided to do a TikTok live stream together. For Anderson, it was a cruel and confusing display of their closeness. He told DailyMail.com, I haven't spoken to her, so I just don't know what's going on. I'm at a loss. I'm really not doing well at all. It has been almost two weeks since Blanchard blindsided her husband and moved out of their marital home in Lake Charles and back into her father and stepmother's home in Cutoff, Louisiana, some three hours drive away. Urker wasted no time flying in from Texas to be by her side. And while Blanchard has insisted that there is no intimacy between the pair and that he is simply being a supportive friend, Anderson is clear that the relationship is to blame for the end of his marriage. Neither Blanchard's father, Rod, nor her stepmother, Christy, were in favor of her marrying Anderson. For his part, Rod said he gave the marriage 50-50 odds at best. Blanchard's family have voiced concerns that the relationship started as little more than a dare. But according to one family member who spoke to DailyMail.com, Anderson went into it with the best of intentions. The relative said he really loves her. Ryan's a really good guy. You won't get better than Ryan. But she's scarred by all that has happened to her. We thought Gypsy was doing okay, but she's not. Ryan's having counseling, and I know she's court-mandated to do it, 
but it's like there's forces inside Gypsy pulling against her. Blanchard's traumatic childhood and early adulthood has been fodder for documentaries, movies, books, and countless magazine, newspaper, and online articles. She was released from Chillicothe Correctional Center in Missouri in December 28th after being granted early parole, having served eight of a 10-year sentence for her role in the infamous unaliving of her mother, Dee Dee. In recent years, Blanchard has spoken about her desire to live a normal life and enjoy the simple things, but her existence with Anderson since her much longed for release has clearly failed to live up to her hopes. The family member told DailyMail.com, I don't know if either of them has spoken to divorce attorneys, but the split is real it's done. Meanwhile, according to TMZ, Blanchard has told family and friends that her marriage came to an end because of Anderson's argumentativeness and constant jealousy over the amount of time she wanted to spend with her father. According to the report, Blanchard was keen to rebuild her relationship with her father after so many years behind bars, but instead of supporting her efforts, Anderson attacked them. Announcing the split in a private Facebook post obtained by people, Blanchard simply wrote, people have been asking what is going on in my life. Unfortunately, my husband and I are going through a separation and I moved in with my parents home down the bayou. I have the support of my family and friends to help guide me through this. I am learning to listen to my heart. Right now, I need time to let myself find who I am. Now, I have to say this is just kind of confusing to me because Ryan is saying that the reason for their split was Gypsy's continued friendship or relationship with Ken, but Ryan is also saying that he didn't know that Gypsy still had such strong feelings for Ken. So, was Gypsy still communicating with Ken after she was released from prison? Or, like, what exactly was happening? Because the math just isn't mathing for me there. Also, the comment from the family member about counseling where they said that Ryan was in counseling and Gypsy was also mandated to have counseling, but it was like there were forces pulling against Gypsy. That kind of leads me to believe that maybe Gypsy doesn't want to go to counseling. Now, whether that counseling is the counseling she's supposed to be going to with Ryan or her mandated counseling, we're not 100% sure. It was kind of just like a very vague statement to make. But we all saw this coming. We all knew this was going to happen. I think that regardless of who Gypsy got married to, it wasn't a good idea to marry someone while she was still incarcerated. Specifically for Gypsy, since she lived with her mother all her life, then she went straight to prison and she never really got the time to figure out who she was. And the whole situation with Ken, like I said before, I felt like they were kind of taunting Ryan or flaunting the whole situation in his face because we know how Ryan feels about Ken. He doesn't like Ken. So the fact that Gypsy was spotted out in public and then we had multiple articles coming out about them being spotted then they do a live stream together. She obviously does not care how Ryan feels about it. Now, by the time I had finished this video, I noticed that Ryan had made his first TikTok video. So, this is his TikTok account. His video currently has 200,000 views, and these are some of the comments people are leaving. Spill the tea on her, and the tea is fire. You can see the hurt in his eyes. Gypsy Rose is a bop, and then wait, the facial hair is a vibe keep it, which Ryan actually liked, and you dodged a bullet, live your life to the fullest. Now, Ryan also mentions in this video that if we want to know what really happened, it will be in the Lifetime show because as we know, Gypsy has been filming for that ever since she got out of prison. So, it definitely will be interesting to see what exactly they included in the show. So, now we've heard Gypsy's side and we've heard Ryan's side. So, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Gypsy actually separated from Ryan because of his argumentativeness and being controlling? Or do you think she just up and split 
and really did completely blindside Ryan. Now, the Lifetime show is set to air in June, and I know a lot of people that do not live in the United States or that just don't want to pay for a subscription to watch it are not going to watch it, but I live-streamed the first Prison Confessions documentary over on TikTok, and I plan to do that again. So, if you haven't already, go follow me on TikTok, and we will do a watch party. Now, that's all I have for now, so be sure to let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, and if you could, please do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.